Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to implement a sorted length list along with other cool methods like a contains method and whatnot. So um, this linked list actually operates in O of n time because unlike a uh, basic linked list where, where we insert and delete links at the beginning of our list, we're actually looking for a specific link in our list or finding the spot to insert our link. So in the worst case scenario where there are end links, we actually have to go all the way through end links to find. So let's go ahead and get started on this. I'll explain as I go along. So we'll go ahead and call this a sorted list. It's gonna take a public uh, reference for our first link in the list. We create a constructor called a public sorted list. And we can go ahead and initialize first to null. We initialize first to null here because in Java, all references are initialized to null by default. However, I like adding it for clarity's sake. The first method we're going to go ahead and code here is a public boolean method called is empty. And this method essentially checks if our linked list is empty. So we can return true that the list is in fact empty if and only if um, first is equal to null. Oops, I messed up. Now, for our second method, I like to create a contains method. This is also a boolean method, and it's going to take an integer of key. And what the contains method does is it checks our linked list if our key is present in the list or not. It will return true if our key is in the list, and it will return false if it is not in the list. So we can go ahead and do this by first creating a reference towards the current link we're on, and initialize this to the first link in our list. And then we can say that while the link at the current data, or the data at the current link, or while current.idata is not equal to our key, um, we can go ahead and say that if current dot next is equal to null, or that if the next neck of the link next to current is in fact null, meaning that we are at the end of our list, we can return false because we have not found it. Else, there is room to move through our list, so we can go ahead and advance through our link list. So we can say that current is equal to current dot next, and we go ahead and exit our while loop here, if we find it and return true. Another method I enjoy doing is, give me a second, I actually need to respond to this message. Um, so um, the second method I like to implement is in fact a, uh, deletion method which takes a key it searches for a key and then deletes it so we're going to go ahead and call this a public a link because we want to return the link that we delete we'll call it delete and it takes an integer of key and we're going to go ahead and need to create two references this time so we need to create a reference for the current link we're on and we need to create a reference towards the link before the before the link we're at and we're going to initialize previous to null and what we do here is we say that, sorry, one line too many. We're gonna say that while, again, the data at the current link or while current.idata is not equal to um, our key, we need to go ahead and say, if the link next to current is null, we have to return null since we have not found it, else, we can go ahead and continue advancing through our link list and say current is equal to current.next. We exit this if we have found the link to delete. Now, there is a particular case we need to consider before doing a traditional deletion method. We need to check if the node or if the link we're to delete is our first link. So we say if current is if current is first, we just need to say that um, the first link is set to the link next to first. Else, we need to go ahead and say that the previous link, or that the link next to previous is not current, but rather the link next to current. And we can go ahead and return current here. So this is our, uh, this is our very simple, oops, I actually put this in the wrong place. So we need to go ahead and exit our if else statement here, and we return current if we have successfully deleted our link. 
Now, let's go ahead and do probably the more, more complicated method for this list, which is the insertion method. So, we're going to call this public void insert. It's going to take an integer of p. And we need, again, two references, and we're going to create a new link. So, we'll start by creating a new link. We'll call it a new link. And say that a new link takes to integer of p. I'm going to say that the link reference current is equal to first. Add the link reference previous and set to null. Now, we iterate through our list with two conditions. We say that while current is not equal to null, and the key that we are looking to implement is greater than the data at the current link or current.i data, we want to advance through our list. So we say, Previous is equal to current, and current is equal to current dot max. So this code here essentially has us iterating through our link list. And we only exit this if we have found the place to insert our key. There is no returning null, returning false in the middle of our while statement because we must insert a key at the end of this method no matter what. But the one thing we need to check for is if we are to insert a link at the beginning of the list. If previous is equal to null, it means that current is equal to first. If current is equal to first, we are to insert a new link that will be our new first. So we're going to say that first is equal to our new link. Else, in all cases but that one, we can say that the link next to previous it's no longer current, but our new link. And in all cases, regardless of if it's our first link or not, we must say that the link next to our new link is current. And this is the end of our insertion method. Now, we want to go ahead and say, um, we want to go ahead and add our display method here. So we can go ahead and say that public void display list no parameters, of course. We can go ahead and say that um, the link current equals first. And we just say that while current is not equal to null, or um, while the list is not empty, we want to display the current link. Oops, we want to display the current link. And we want to go ahead and advance our link through the list. Let's say that current is equal to current.next. And this is our display method. So it's a little bit more complicated than a very basic uh, linked list, but it does have its benefits and that we can find specific keys, we can delete specific keys, and that our list will be printed in a sorted order. This is this insertion method is coded so that we find one that is so that we insert our links so that they will always be printed in ascending order. If you wanted to reverse the order and have it in descending order, you can always just flip the uh, greater than sign here. So let's go ahead and check it on the code here. So we'll pull up IntelliJ here and uh, just create a new Java class. Uh, let's call this main again um, and go ahead and get copying. So we'll go ahead and copy our link definition first. And we'll paste it right above our main class. And then we can go ahead and copy our sorted list class here. Now we'll go over here, paste that again, and give it a second as my I, as my ID sort of lags out. There we have it. Um, it has loaded successfully. And since we have a few errors that my text editor didn't catch. So let's go ahead and uh, go through this. So of course, I redeclared integer. I did not need to do that. Um, it seems that I have a few more errors I should take care of. Let's go to the one over here first. Public sorted list. Is that an issue here? Oh, we have to leave our um, parameters blank there. And um, let's see, the issue at this line is we was expected semicolons. And it was correctly expected. And that is all the errors we've taken care of. So now we can go ahead and run our code and say that uh, public static void main string array. Oops, string array of arguments. I can go ahead and create our new list 
I'm excited. So we'll say, uh, it's actually sorted list, I believe. That's what we call it. Let's say that sorted list list is equal to a new sorted list that we create. And we can go ahead and say that list dot insert, um, let's, let's insert keys in reverse order. So I can sort of demonstrate the, um, demonstrate the keys being inserted in ascending order. So seven for um, list dot insert uh, three. And for the last one, let's spice it up a little bit and insert a key of 112. Now we want to display our list. And we want to go ahead and remove as my computer lags here, we want to go ahead. Did I call it delete? I think I might have called it delete. We want to go ahead and delete uh, three. And we want to print out a new line here. System dot out dot print new line. We just leave that blank. Then we can go ahead here and say that um, list dot contains three it should return false. And then we can go ahead and say um, list dot display list at the end. And I should wrap this in a print statement actually. So we can go ahead and just put this inside here. Actually, no, let's give it a separate line here. Let's go ahead and put another print statement here. It's very inefficient, but I'm just a little lazy and a little tired. So you go say here list dot contains at three after we deleted it. So assuming everything in our code runs properly, um, we're going to be returned. 3, 4, 7, 112. It will display it. It will then delete 3. We will then print that false because we have deleted 3 from our list. And then uh, we will then print out uh, 4, 7, 112. So um, as it's building, um, I'll explain sort of next summarize what we'll be talking about next week's video. I'm going to be doing a doubly linked list, which is a linked list where we can actually ins uh, access from both ends. Uh, it's quite a bit more complicated than your normal linked list because excuse me, you have to create a second reference for, or two references for every list instead of one, um, where it's no longer just next, but now we must keep in mind the previous link as well. Um, I expect that video to come out sometime next, this week, later, but here we have our answers. We have printed at three, four, seven, 112 in ascending order. We have deleted the link three, then we print check if it contains it. It does not anymore since we deleted it, so we return false. And then we print out 47112. Thanks for watching, guys. Keep an eye out for the next video.